you are not worthy to be my son's wife. So, divorce him right away. Yes, I'd love to. I replied cheerfully to my mother in those words. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. My name is Sophia. My husband Matthew and I have been blessed with two daughters. My daughters grew up healthy and happy, and I have no complaints about my life. But I have one huge concern, which is my mother in law. But my mother in law is an expert bully and obsessed with the idea of being the eldest son and heir. My husband is the eldest of the three sons. He was the first to get married and the first to have children. Our older daughter was my mother in law's first grandchild. But we don't need a girl. Why can't she have a boy when she is the eldest son's wife? Mom, a child is a gift. There's nothing you can do about it. So don't talk like that. Well, if you say so. My husband defended me, but my mother in law wouldn't even hold my daughter. I knew she wanted a boy. But I thought seeing the face of the first grandchild would change things a bit. I never thought it would be this bad. Who are we to be concerned about boys and girls nowadays? And my mother in law's sarcasm escalated when I gave birth to a second child, a girl. It's really disappointing that you came to our house and can't produce an heir. What a useless wife you are. You must be a useless person with rotten nature. That's why you can't have birth to a boy. If you had a good wife, you'd have a boy. I've given birth to three boys. No, no. It has nothing to do with that. If she thinks she is right to say such a thing, she's out of her mind. Besides, why weren't you born a boy? I really wish you had been a boy. Grandma, I can't be a girl. Am I bad? You're not good at all. And you're not so clever like your mother. Hey, please, stop it. What? I was just telling the truth. My mother in law even verbally abused my daughter. I couldn't stand it anymore. I told my husband in tears that I didn't want to go to in law's house. She said horrible and hurtful things to our daughters. I can't let her daughters see your mother anymore. Okay, okay, I got it. You don't have to go to my parents' house. Thank you. I'm glad you understand. But we can't miss New Year's gathering, okay? To be honest, I didn't want to go, even for that New Year's gathering. But it's a one thing a year thing, and my husband is the eldest son, so I had no choice. Anyway, I try not to have anything to do with my in laws other than that. But recently, after work and on his day off, my husband goes to his parents' house for any reason he can think of. I was at my peak. Even though I am a stay at home mom, it is hard to take care of my daughters and do all the housework alone. I am working tirelessly to take care of the house and the children. And yet, I can't understand why he is relaxing at his parents' house. Where's daddy? Why won't he play with us? I think he's at grandma's house. The girls are getting nervous about their dad isn't home. You haven't spent time with the girls lately, have you? They miss you so much. You are father. You should spend more time with your daughters. Stop nagging me. I'm trying to defend you from my mom. Wanting to have a boy. So don't be selfish. It's harder for me to stand in between you and her. And I'm tired from work. Most wives in the world would work things out with their in laws. You should be able to do it to begin with. When I talk to my husband about my daughters, he gets mad. Is it selfish of me to ask him to spend time with his daughters? What my mother in law is doing to me and my husband and my daughters' situation 
were not the same thing. I began to have bad feelings toward my husband, who lost his temper over such things. Then, the family gathering came, and we went to his parents' house as planned. Every year during New Year's, all the relatives got together. My husband's younger brother had a baby boy recently. The youngest brother, the third son, just got married. My mother-in-law doesn't let go of the baby boy. It's a relief that we have an heir! Finally! Good boy! You're the heir! My mother-in-law never treated my daughters like that. As long as it's a boy, she's happy. Now, you wives, get the dishes ready. It's your job. My mother-in-law told us to serve the food and to pour the drinks. While my mother-in-law, my husband, his brothers and relatives were enjoying drinking and chatting. We were working behind the scenes. And you, girls, go to the kitchen and learn how to cook or something. It's okay. You don't have to. Stay with me. Our daughters were also about to be sent away to the kitchen by my mother-in-law. I can't believe she doesn't hesitate to show that she loves the boy and hates the girls. It's terrible. She treats them like that? Oh, yeah. That's her. It happens all the time. I just couldn't believe my eyes. She was terrible. Oh, it's your first year, huh? That's what she is, unfortunately. I'm fed up with her pushing me for a grandchild or an heir. We happen to have a boy, but I don't think it's fair to say that he's cute because he's a boy. She kept telling me to give birth to a boy from the beginning of my pregnancy. She's serious about it, isn't she? My mother-in-law's attitude has made all the wives feel uncomfortable. Having a mother-in-law like this, I can't help but be concerned about our future. The baby boy was cuddled and cherished by one relative after one another. My mother-in-law seemed pleased with herself. And she began to bully me as usual. My second son's wife gave birth to a boy. But I'm disappointed that my eldest son's wife is useless and can't give birth to a boy. I don't know what on earth she became a member of our family. When she got drunk, she got even more heated. She's not the right wife for us. What kind of upbringing did she have that she can only give birth to girls? You should divorce her and get a new wife. Mom, what are you talking about? Well, even if your wife can't have a boy, we're safe now. We have this baby boy. He's not the eldest son's boy, but it works too. I'll have to put up with that. It's true. I guess I'm more comfortable here. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a new wife and move in here. Yes, you should. <laughs> All the relatives laughed at my mother-in-law's and husband's words. Not only my mother-in-law, but even my husband made fun of me. What kind of a joke is this? This can't just be a joke because of the alcohol. I wish my husband would stop fooling around and comes to his senses. That was terrible. Saying stuff like that and laughing all together. Oh my gosh. My husband is laughing too. Yes, they are all insane. Every one of them are. We're completely pissed off. The three of us, the three of us decided to have our revenge. And a year passed by. And another new year is here. As usual, all the relatives gathered at my parents-in-law's house. Hey, you! Bring more bottles of wine here and start cooking. Girls, go to the kitchen. Hush now. And you, my sweet little boy. Look how handsome you are. You are the heir of this family. As usual, my mother-in-law keeps the wives busy. 
and push my daughters into the kitchen. Having the grandson by her side, and all the relatives are happy to see him grow up. The firstborn son's wife is worthless because she can only give birth to girls. Why did he marry such a wife? It's a fraud that she can't have a boy. My mother-in-law's usual bully has begun. And then, you know what? You are not worthy to be my son's wife. So, divorce him right away. When you are done serving the food, go home. Pack your things and leave. You can take your daughters with you. They may be become an inconvenience to my son's next marriage. What a sudden declaration! I was surprised by her unexpected word, but it might be a perfect opportunity. Okay, I'd love to. I'll gladly divorce him, but he should take the blame. I stepped forward and confronted him with the divorce papers. What? What? You're the one who can't produce an heir. Even if it's the case, I am still his wife. A wife is a wife. Do you know what it's called when a man has an affair with another woman while he's still married? It's called adultery. I put the envelope in front of him and handed it to all the relatives. What? How did this? What? Is this? Inside the envelope was a picture of my husband and the scene of the affair. My husband and my mother-in-law roll their eyes. The relatives are in an uproar. So, you are legally responsible for the affair. See you in the court. Wh what are you talking about? You are the one who can't even give birth to a boy. How selfish you are! The second son's wife, who is also upset with the whole situation, said, "Don't you have any shame in blatantly favoring the eldest son, especially when in an ordinary family with no significant assets? Whether it's a boy or a girl, having a child without any health issues is the most important and difficult thing to do. Don't you understand that simple thing after having three children?" Well, the man in his family don't even know that giving birth is a life risk. The second son's wife stared at her husband. Then she picked up the son, who was being held by a relative. I didn't give birth to a child for this family. When Matthew has a boy, that baby will come first than any other children anyway. What kind of a mother would shut up when her children were treated like garbage? I can't raise children with a father like you laughing out when you shouldn't. I'll get custody of my son, and I'll never see you again. What? The second son's wife also handed over the divorce papers, and the third son's wife followed. You may not understand how precious it is to be blessed with a child. But you only have boys and don't even pay attention to girls. And when your two brothers get divorced, it is my turn to get all the bullies from your mother, nagging me to give birth to a boy. So, I want to insulate ourselves from this house to protect our family. You can choose to divorce me, or you can choose to leave this crazy family and protect your own. Wait, what? The youngest son's wife also served him with divorce papers. The husbands were in a panic with the divorce papers from all three wives. All the relatives looking uncomfortable, and the mother-in-law's trembling with anger. Don't you guys take everything upon yourselves? What? <laughs> Who is the selfish one here? Don't you realize how selfish and insane you are? What? I don't think I can have a proper conversation with you. I'm going to ask for a lawyer. So, keep that in mind. Hey, Sophia. I'm sure you'll hear from my lawyer later. We'll talk through to him. Whoa. 
What the hell? You only have one choice. You can't choose both this house and me. No, 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 no. Wait. We, three wives, left our confused husbands and went back to our parents' house. After that, I divorced my husband. My ex husband came to my parents' house every day. He had left all the housework to me without taking care of his children and had been having an affair. So I ended up getting more alimony than I expected. I noticed the affair when I checked our joint savings account. What? It's gone. There was $60,000 in there, and now it's not there. This was something we had discussed as a couple and saved for emergencies. I wanted to believe my intuition was wrong. So I requested an investigation immediately. But as a result, I found out that he was having an affair. He took advantage of the fact that my ex mother in law hates me and told her he wanted to divorce me. Actually, I'm thinking of divorcing Sophia. Great! Then I'll kick her out of this house for you. It's best to get rid of such a hopeless wife. He didn't know that the money was jointly owned by two of us. And then he got caught in the affair. How stupid he was. The alimony and child support payments are going to wipe out that savings. The second son's wife also divorced him after fighting the case to court. She got custody of their son. Please don't take my son away from me. My mom told me not to be taking him away. He is the heir. What? What did you say? The second son cried and pleaded at the mediation. Because he added a few unnecessary words, he didn't get any visitation with his son. They even issued a restraining order against him because of the risk of him being taken away. The youngest brother did a lot of research on childbirth and parenting. He realized how bad the family's tradition was and apologized to his wife. I'm really sorry. My family was crazy. I know that now. I'm going to cut a tie with my mom and dad. I'm going to protect my own family as a husband. That's how he told his mother, and he really did cut a tie. The mother in law, ex husband, and second brother are all blaming each other. And it's an ugly fight. The ex husband and the second son can't afford to pay alimony and child support. They are having a hard time. Why is this happening when we finally have a baby boy? It's your fault, mom. We have to pay alimony and child support. We're in huge debt. It's your fault for having an affair. In the end, my ex-husband and the second son left their mother. The two sons and grandchildren were gone. And my ex-mother-in-law is now living a lonely life by herself. I had been preparing for my divorce, so, it was, so I was able to move on smoothly and start a new life. My ex-husband pays me child support every month. I plan to live a steady life for my daughters. Mom, we ran a race at daycare today. Oh really? I'm sure you must be tired then. You are tired from your work too, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Thank you. Alright, let's eat. What makes me the happiest now? It's seeing my children's cheerful and smiling faces. Using the money from my ex-husband and his adulterous partner, we are planning to go on our first family vacation overseas.